Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Constance. If you haven't been here before, I'm a full-time reseller and I love to do thread up rescue box unboxings and that's what I have for you today. If you are not subscribed already, I would really, really, really appreciate it if you subscribed. And also just because I'm not, because I'm, po I'm trying to post more often, the reason I don't post as much as I would like to is just because of the editing process is sometimes, sometimes like more than I would like to do. And so I just keep putting it off. So I'm trying to not edit the videos as much. I'm trying to just kind of make the video quick little edits and post. So that's my new plan just to try to see if I can get more consistent with it. Um, all that being said, if there is something that you would like for me to share on my reselling journey, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Like, I, There's so many videos I want to make, but I never really have a focus. I kind of just do what feels right at the time. So please let me know if you would like for me to do something. Um, I, I would like to do more of the 90 day like recap on my Thread Up Rescue Boxes. I would also like to do more what sold videos. Um, yeah, if you have any suggestions for me, please let me know and I will try to get on that as soon as I can. Now, what I have for you today is I have two of the Thread Up Kids shoe boxes. Now, I've never purchased anything in the kids category before because I don't have little kids. It doesn't really interest me. I don't sell very much like thing, like kids items, but my nieces... I thought they wanted to be in a YouTube video with me and so I ordered these boxes for them to unbox with me and so I've had them for a couple of months and they just didn't show an interest once I got the boxes. So I'm going to just open them on my own. Um, I did open these when I first got them just to kind of check them out. It's been a couple of months ago. I don't really remember what's in here. I do remember there was only a handful like three or four things that I really planned on listing to try to sell. Um, I was hoping there was a couple pieces in here that they would want and the rest of it's probably going to get donated or I have one or two friends that might be interested in shoes, but most of it probably is going to get donated. But I do want to show you what is in here. So let's get started. So there are two, two of them. I can't remember the prices, but I'm pretty sure it was in like the $30 to $40 range, but the boxes are about this big. So this one came from Suwannee, Georgia. Oh, here's, here's the receipt. So this one I paid $34 for. And these, this was ordered in October, October 6th. So I've had these for a while. Okay, first pair. Reebok high tops. I had a pair very similar to this in like 1988 that were all like royal blue but I think these are very cute. They're in really good condition. So I do think I should be able to sell these. I just don't know for how much they are. Like the shoelaces are all kind of stuck into the Velcro, but they're cute. So here is a pair of Adidas. These are cute. They do, these do have a lot more wear. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if these would be worth selling. They're size two and a half. I will look these up and just see if maybe I can sell them for like $10. Because I figure maybe $10 would be worth it to list it. But I'm not hopeful about these. But we'll check them out. Um, we have another pair of Adidas. These are actually really cute. I don't, um, guys, I don't know much about shoes. These are size four and a half, but I will definitely Google lens these and see what I can find out about them. They don't have a whole lot of wear at all. These look much better than the last pair. Oh, uh, here is a pair of sandals. These don't even seem to have a brand name, but they look like they should be like probably Target or Old Navy. I don't, they say size 25 on the bottom. I don't really know. If, I don't know. So these, not sure what I'm going to do with those. 
Here is a pair of boots. Kamik, K-A-M-I-K. -K. I've never heard of that brand. They do look pretty worn. Like you can just tell on the tag how worn they are. This tag is like thin and frayed. Um, I'm assuming this is not like a fancy brand at all, but I will look them up and just check, but I'm assuming this is gonna be a donate. Uh, these are definitely be a donate. This is just a pair of the U.S. Polo Association, which those are what? Those are sold at like Ross, but I don't, I doubt the resale would be anything on these, but they're in good condition. Okay, these look fun. Pair of rain boots, Western Chief. Never heard of that. Western Chiefs has 13. Made in China. Yeah, they're definitely in used condition. Very, very used. Like you can see the wear and the dirt and they're just kind of getting really like scuffed up at this point. But I don't know. I'll check out that brand, but I'm guessing that that might be something my nieces want. That looks like about their size. One of them anyway. Here is a pair of little baby shoes. Size five, maybe. These are... Is this the Sea Kai Run? I can't remember. Is that what it is? Sea Kai Run? Something like that. C. Something. I can't remember what it is, y'all. And it's hard to read. But I don't remember. if this is anything good or even if that's the right thing, if I'm saying it the correctly or if that's even what I'm thinking it is, but they're cute shoes. I will look them up and see if I can figure out what these are. Possibly resale, re, possibly resell. See, this is why, this is why I need to edit my videos because I say things incorrectly all the time. Oh, these have definitely seen better days. But they're super cute. So this is a pair of Converse with the unicorn. Unicorn on both sides. But, I mean, they have substantial dirt all over them. I don't know. That looks like almost like asphalt or something stuck to the side. And look how dirty the laces are. Y'all, so um, as a teacher, <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure you parents out there know and other teachers but when you would tie a tie kids shoes and the shoes would the shoelaces would be wet because they had been walking in the bathroom with their shoelaces untied and it would always like ooh so that's immediately what i think about these shoelaces i'm like these shoelaces look like they have been walked on so much and maybe they were walked on in the bathroom i don't know <sighs> those are the good old days so here we have a pair of little toddler vans. Super cute, they are definitely dirty though. They have some dirt in the bottom, not a ton of wear, but a magic eraser should clean that up pretty good. There is a little bit of like damage on the toes, not terrible. I do think I should be able to like wash these and resell these pretty easily. They are a size six, looks like a size six, so. I'm not sure. Again, guys, I know nothing about prices on kids' shoes, so I have no idea how much something like that would be worth. But I think overall, I think I should be able to get my $34, probably around, what was it, $34 plus tax? I think it's $34 plus tax, so probably around $38 back. Pretty easily on a few pairs of those. So here is the second box, and this one is also from Suwannee, Georgia. 
And you know what? I, this one, this one says $40. So these are, I paid, I bought this one October 4th and then this one October 6th. So I, I paid two different prices and I'm not sure. I guess I got one box on sale and I didn't even realize it. But this box was a little bit more expensive. Okay, first thing we have, a pair of something that I think is not worth anything. These look like they were from like Dollar General. I don't know, you guys let me know if it looks like something. No name though. These are adorable, but they do have quite a bit of wear. They were probably in the bottom of a kid's closet for a long time, be my guess, because they're just, they just look dirty. But they're cute little heels. They are Steve Madden. You can just see how much dirt's on them there. They are size two, it looks like. So this possibly could be something my older, my fifth grade niece might like. So I'll probably save these, put these aside and see if she's interested. Here are a pair of little baby Keens. So I don't know if, like how much these sell for. I don't know how much these are new. They're in good condition. They are dirty, but they don't look, they don't look worn out at all. Um, I don't see the size, but I think it's in there. But they're cute. I'm guessing I should be able to sell these. Um, Lightning McQueen, this was my oldest son. This was his favorite movie back like 15 years ago. So these are just Lightning McQueen little shoes. I don't know, these are Disney. I might be able to sell these, especially with maybe summer coming soon. They're like kind of like water shoes, I guess. I don't know, maybe I'll try to list them. They look really clean on the inside. There's like not, you know, they look, they look clean. So possibly just list them because I have them. And these are actually really cute. I just don't imagine they're worth much, but they are Nautica. Just little sneakers. They look like black leather. The bottoms don't have much wear. A little bit, you can see a little bit on the back but a little dirt. Here is a pair of like probably Crocs from Walmart. So not actual Crocs, but faux Crocs. They're size 37. I don't know. Maybe there's somebody that can fit in, into these. Here is a pair of Sperry's, and they're actually a really pretty purple color, but they are dirty. They have silver laces, which is kind of cute. Size two and a half. So, I mean, these, again, pretty good condition. They have the style name Crest Vibe, so I might look these up and just see if any of them are sell selling and uh, possibly list these, but I'm not I'm not expecting it. Oh, I do remember these. These are probably one of my favorite things in either of these boxes, but these are little like sandal tennis shoes, but they are the brand Play. And I have found this brand once or twice in the past. It's been a few years ago, but this brand, like people love these shoes. And I guess like it doesn't matter the condition, people will still buy them. So, I mean, these definitely need to be cleaned. They're not, I mean, like there's like strings hanging off of them, but I mean, they're not terrible, terrible. I mean, that's just looks like dirt. It's not too worn, but there's a lot of, a lot of rocks in the, in the soles, but yeah, they're pretty cute. I definitely think these, I can sell these pretty, pretty easily. And we're down to a couple more pairs. These are cute. I used to love this brand of sand, of flip flops a few years ago. I'm kind of not a big flip flop, flip flop 
fan these days. Just, I don't know why. Um, they're not as, my feet need more support apparently. But this brand, I can't, I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Hava, Havaianas. Oh gosh, y'all, I'm so terrible. Um, but they're, they don't look, they really don't look worn at all. Like they have a sticker on the bottom. So I could possibly list these. I don't know if maybe I can get like 10 bucks for them maybe. I don't know. Okay, two more. We have a pair of, are these like and one? I can't remember. I feel like these are and one. Like maybe they're sold at like Walmart or something like that. I don't see anything inside. Oh yeah, I do. So they have a little tag right here. It says 33. So I'm guessing they're size 33. I mean, they're not terrible. I'll Google lens them and just see what comes up, but I, I'm expecting this to be a donate. And if I'm wrong on any of this stuff, guys, feel free to tell me because I'm usually wrong. The last thing, very cute sandals. They are just Cat and Jack though. Very cute and they're Velcro and they're actually in pretty good condition. So again, I might have somebody who, a friend who has kids like this around this size. So I might see if they want them. But yep, that's it. So those are my two kids shoe rescue boxes. So if you have any questions about reselling or just um, anything that you want me to like post on my YouTube channel, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much. I am on Instagram at teach and thrift. You can always ask me questions over there if you're new to reselling and I'll be happy to help you. Um, yeah, so that's the video for today. I appreciate you sticking around till the end and I will see you next time guys. Bye.